What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to download and run Halo Online, the modded version which I think only works in America or, or works anywhere around the world, but um, I've been told that, and I've seen on a wiki leak for 3, I meant not for 3, for 3, Halo Online, that it is only going to be released in Russia, which I think is a big bullshit reason for the company to do that. Um, anyway. So this is a modded version to allow, it's basically, I think it's modded to allow like English or whatever. And it's player hosting only. It's not Bungie server hosting. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to put the link in the description to download the file. There is no, um, viruses. It's only two gig. It's called L. Dewey, I can't ever say it. Dewey 0.5.0.1. I'm going to post this link in the description so you can download it. Um, and w what you're going to do is you're going to take the game right here. It's a raw. Yeah, I'll just scan it for you guys to show you. But, um, let's show you proof that it does not have a virus. I got this link from my friend. It is com completely clean. Anyway, so when you have the file, you're going to put it to wherever you want. It's only 2.7 gigs, 2.2 gigs. You're gonna put it wherever you want. Um, if you have WinRAR, you're gonna un, un, uh, un extract it, whatever you want to call it. And then when you have wherever you want to put the file at, you're gonna have all this crap. What the crap? Wow, helper. What is freaking World of Warcraft? Anyway, um, custom menu does not work. I don't know what it does. If you hit this button, it's just gonna tell you you have to have the game launched. I guess it's a single player or something. I'm not sure. Um, but to start the game, you're going to hit Dorito, Dorito Updater. Um, I run it as administrator, and as you can see, 1,202 items have been scanned. No viruses. Anyway. Um, when you start this up, you're going to see player customization. You can choose whatever you want. You could choose randomized armor at launch, which means it will change every time. Choose whatever armor you want, whatever color you want, and then you put your name. Once you're done with that, or you can hit the random button. Once you're done with that, you're gonna click the little arrow button. This is part of the disable sprint. You don't need that. It doesn't work. This is part of the graphic settings. There's when you have the game up, there's more graphic settings. But um, don't mess with the server name. Don't mess with passwords. Uh, great, someone came on Steam. Steam has to block them out in my video now. And I would recommend disabling intro video. Just launch it much faster. Once you've done that. If you want to have voiceover, you know, talking to people in game, you can have that on or you can have it off. Um, I don't know what the push to talk button is. You can look in that into the control setting when you're in the game. But here you go. If you, if you want to turn it off, you just click, you just disable that. That's all you got to do. And I don't know what this is. I'm not going to touch it because I don't know what it is. So to start the game, you're going to hit play game. And then I will start up. And I'm going to show you guys how to put, get into multiplayer. Or you can host your own. Or you can do Forge where you make your own map. Um, to move around, like see like this is my custom armor. And then you can go to settings. You can do all these things. You can a lot more control. Change all your keyboard, edit. People are texting me. Um, change the graphic setting, whatever, whatever. Um, and then go to your audio change whatever whatever anyway um you can host a forest match you can host uh multiplayer like i said this it's not it's, uh, this is not running off bungie servers so yes if you want to host like a custom map or game mode that you built you have to host it anyway to move around in the menu right here these three menus you have to use your arrow keys and you have to use enter if you use your mouse it won't work failed to connect to IRC, we're trying to connect in five seconds. Something just happened. Whatever. Um, you're gonna go to click server browser. You're gonna hit enter. It's gonna bring up a whole list of all these different hosted, uh, player hosted servers. And you want, like, I recommend joining one with the low ping and at least have some player base on it. Like this one right here has 14 players, 81 ping. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you can either double click it or you can just push enter. 
Okay, what? Okay, never mind. Don't push enter. Okay, you can't push enter. And then basically the game's starting up, as you can tell. I don't think I clicked the right server. Oh, it's alright. So right there, the game just started. I'm only gonna play for a few seconds just to show you. But there you go. You can't open up the menu when you're dead. Game. But there you go, that's how you play the modded version of Halo Online. It's, I'm not sure which is the newest. The one I have right here, El Dorito 0.5.02 is the newest one I've gotten. There might be newer versions. If there is newer versions, download that instead. Um, but so far with this version, I have no problem running the game. I can stream, I can record while playing it. Um, I have no FPS drops. It's basically running smooth as hell. And also, uh, when you're in a setting, make sure you turn off vertical sync. That's, it kind of, like, it makes your mouth sway a little bit. Like, when you, like, you know, like, when you look to the right real quick, it doesn't, it just sways it. It doesn't, like, instant. So, anyway, that's how you p play Halo Online, El Dorito mod, and I hope you enjoy.